couple of newcomers rocking up to uh, to do some camping, but what a spot. All this weed on the bottom there, that is prime. That is really, really good squid country. So there, no ink on the side of the boat just yet. Up. All set. <laughs> Just waiting on Mum to come back down and park the car. Hello. To go to Humpy for a couple of nights camping. We've got everything. We are like, oh, little love of baby dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've got um, we've got a bit. Excited? Yes. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah. Are you excited? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? Yep. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, let's do it. Wish us luck. Alright. We made it to Humpy. Uh, kids are still alive. Uh, we're still married. So, basically what we've done is we've just dumped stuff on the beach. The kids are already into it. So we're on the, I would say the, oh, nearly the western side, which is where we're camping. Sorry? Yeah, if you yell it loud enough. Hello and seawater tastes disgusting. Hello and seawater tastes disgusting. Uh, who would have thought? Anyway, yeah, so we're running the gear up. The table and chairs. Hey! <laughs> She's uh, hard at it, just um, to camp together. So, yeah, so um, yeah, we'll get it set up and then uh, we'll give you another look. But yeah, ca uh, camping on Humpy, bloody awesome. Uh, this is the second time that we've done it. A couple of little, uh, little tips for you um, is, mate, if you do it on small tides, so neap tides around the quarter moon, you'll be able to anchor your boats in a little bit closer to the island. Um, obviously, there's uh, not as much water movement. Uh, well, last time we did it, we were on big tides, and we had to we had to bloody put our boat way way out. So, and the other um, little tip is, which is what you've seen the kids there before, is they're uh, they're on kayaks. So, yeah, you take your boat out, anchor it up, and then and kayak in. So, if you're scared of sharks like me, last time we were here, we didn't. The missus bought me this little like fifteen dollar piece of shit uh, blow up. I wouldn't even call it a boat. I don't know, the only thing that was with my bum and it was just, it was horrible trying to bloody get to and from the boat in that. So yeah, little kayaking, pick them up cheap, second hand, um, on eBay and stuff like that, or a facey. So have a look at that and yeah, we'll get uh, set up and we'll get back to you. All right, this is where the magic happens. This is serious marriage counseling right here, isn't it? <laughs> here we go. So we've tried to do it on the cheap and we're just using all the gear we got. We should have got a couple of little pop-up pop -up tents that'd be done by now. We'd be sipping margaritas on the beachfront, but yep. Here we go. Righto. Wish us luck. We're on. We're on. Well, it's Humpy Island at its finest. It's lunchtime. Oh, check it out. Little turtles come right up to the beach. How cool is that? How cool is that? It's coming up. Stop, 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 stop. Come back this way. It might come up. Mm -hmm. The second turtle up there. How cool is that? That's awesome. Nice crystal clear water. What do you reckon? It's so awesome. cool. Yeah? That's awesome. Dad was a bit more organised, he'd have the snorkel gear and you could have went in there and said good day. Deadly. Mm -hmm. 
swallow it and be really quiet. Did you, hey, were you able to touch it before? You got a pat on it? Alright, we are officially set up, well we've been set up for a little while uh, and we're chilling and we're just going to have a little bit of a walk around, show you guys what's here but um, oh, look at that, the afternoon looks sensational, there's our little afternoon chair, table and chairs out there, we're just, we're broad enough to get into, into trouble, tents all set up now. Camping at its finest. Sunset's gonna be brilliant. All right, all right. So the best thing about Humpy Island and um, and camping, especially if you've got families, is that there is some facilities. So you got um, long drop toilets and over there you've got a uh, a shower as well we just had to we just had to boot a crow out of there he was uh he was pretty comfortable in there with the uh the shower running on him so someone left the bloody tap running and he'd moved in but we got rid of him say so, hey say so, hey you got clothes on say so, hey say so, humpy olin Woo! okay have my own little party here yeah toilets Showers. It's only a cold shower, but better than no shower. But um, yeah, good to get the salt off after a after a day in the uh, in the ocean. Anyway, so all right, late afternoon, <coughs> and kayaks are up. Everyone's settling in. Humpy Island, sunset. Wow, that is amazing. Couple of newcomers rocking up to uh, to do some camping, but what a spot! Unreal. All right, we'll uh, go and do a bit of venturing around tomorrow, and we'll we'll keep videoing. But yeah, good spot if you're looking at uh, looking at getting the family away and doing a bit of camping, a bit of boat camping. It's um it's definitely a good spot to uh, to come and have a look at Humpy Island. So on the southern end of Great Keppel Island off Yapoon is where we are. Um, it's about all I've got for you at the moment. Two more tips for when you want to come over here camping. One, bring a rake because there's all these little pine cones. Crookie's got some. There's little pine cones. So bring a rake. You'll be able to get rid of some of them uh, and bring a set of thongs. If you're going to walk over to if you're going to walk over to the, the toilet and, and back. And also the other one is, um, if you're new to camping, bring a bring a broom with you, you know, just to be able to sweep out your tents and, and whatnot. That's another, another little red hot option. So, all right. Peace. All right, day two of camping. The uh, home brand clothesline hanging out there. Always need rope. Never ever leave home without rope. All right, so we're day two. Just got up, but this is the best part. Kappa. This is the best part about camping on an island. So kids are down. They got up. But um, oh, we're there. Um, they got up, pretty much put the togs on, we put some sun cream on them and off they went swimming. I made a kappa and we've got <coughs> some pancakes on the run. So do, oh yeah, these are my secret pancakes that uh, yeah, passed down after generation after generation. I can't tell you what's in them, it's like the old Colonel Secret Herb and Spices. But um, yeah, so just cooking a feed, kids are playing, man, this is island, island holiday and at its best.
we bloody we love humpy and I think you will too so make sure you look a look it up probably gonna go and um, grab the boat shortly and go and look to do a bit of squidding and yeah get into it all right hopefully you can hear me over the motor so yeah uh, kind of got a dirty old two-stroke um, so it's out in the boat and we're just doing a little bit of squidding family of bailed so I'm solo but this is uh, right on the, I would say, nearly the northern northern end of Humpy. Like there's all this shallow broken reef. Hopefully, you can see the sand and the reef in there. Exactly what I look for when I'm uh, chasing the squid. And the best thing is, if you have a look at the sounder, hopefully that's coming up all right. You can see it's all this weed. You can look in the water and look at that, but all this all this weed on the bottom there, that is prime. That is really, really good squid country. So, just doing a little bit of uh, slow troll in there at the moment. So we'll, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a couple. Hopefully that all three of them don't go off at once because then I will be in trouble, even if two of them go off. But, uh, yeah, we'll just cruise it along and I'll go and pick the family up probably be a little bit later. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll, um, Get a couple. There's a nice one in there. No ink on the side of the boat just yet. Beautiful. And what am I using? I'm just using these are Yamashita warm jacket squid jigs. So I did a bit of um did a bit of uh, research into this and apparently that cloth is supposed to be about a degree or so warmer in the water and man they're 20 about 20 bucks each and i highly recommend them they got a bit of a rattle they warm jacket i don't know they work for me you can use your five dollar kmart specials if you want but man these are my confidence squid jigs and like i said where are we we're in that see in the water in that broken in that broken country bloody squid jigs um, snagged at the moment that broken country in amongst the sand so yeah that broken coily stuff if you've got a bit of weed on it that's um that's gold but yeah we're just on the northern northern side of humpy here you can sort of drift across you can cast it you can slow troll yeah just keep moving around till you find them we got we got dinner sorted for tonight so i'll see if we can get a few more so we're going to do a little bit of exploring now and this is leeks creek It's only sort of a metre and a half, about a metre and a half of water coming in through the front, but it's absolutely beautiful in here. It's, uh, so it's on the northern end of Great Keppel. There's a little creek that you can get into, and this is, this is it. Absolutely stunning. What a place. Uh, well, family fort sure has missed out by, uh, by bailing, so... Yeah, Leaks Creek. So Leaks Creek, uh, northern end of Great Capital Island, another place to um, yeah, bring the family, come and check it out. I think I'm going to have a bit of a cast around in here and see if I can get myself a flathead for dinner. Already got the squid, so see if we can get the fish. So this is the entrance to, uh, to Leaks Creek. Hopefully you can hear me all right. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. A few boats buddy. Make it up out the front. So yeah, this is our, on our way out. So we're sitting there, what have we got? A couple of metres of water here, it'll just sort of shallows up out the front a little bit. But you can see here we zoom out on our GPS. So there's Great Keppel Island. And this is where creek is uh is situated i know they get big mud crabs in here too so bring crab pots bring the family leaks creek that's where it's at no flat out either which is uh, a bit of a shame but it is what it is all right a couple of keppel islands uh uh pets i guess if you will oh some more over there Oh. Yeah, we're putting on the show. Come on, don't stop now. 
<laughs> so yeah, you get the whole experience, you come over to Keppel or you go camping with that turtles down the beach and um, yeah, we just run across a friendly little pot of dolphins it's, uh, proving very camera shy. Anyway, we'll keep going. That's cool then. Very cool. Well, it's the uh, the last night here. We're um, gonna go home in the morning, but we're doing a catch and cook. What are you looking at? Just relax. I'm watching you're you. making me nervous. Yeah, you should be nervous. You look like a wanker. Yeah, well, there's no one else here to see it. Anyway, uh, yeah, catch and cook. So we got a couple of squid uh, this morning. So squidding. First minute of throwing the squid jigs out, bang, got a couple of squid. Like, oh, here we go, and then spent. You know, another couple of hours, or another hour or so after that, and then another hour this afternoon trying to get a few more, and no good. So, but we got a couple. Um, the issue that we run into is that we've got no, we had no seasoning, so we're like, well, oh, we've got a bit of egg that we can do that, but we've got no seasoning. So, genius, this guy, um, come up with, we'll run into the hideaway. So the hideaway is the little. <clears throat> the little um, the little pub that's on Great Keppel Island, so you can go in there and get a feed, get a few beers. It's a magic spot. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just beyond. I didn't get a little bit of video of that, but yeah. So I ran in there, grabbed a few packets of chips, I got some uh, got some sandboys and, and and whatnot, and we're just going to coat them in some chips. So we're going to roll them in egg, and we'll give you a quick look at what we're doing at the moment. All right, we're set up here, ready to go. We got our calamari chopped up. So we just busted, pretty much just busted the bag on both the, uh, so we're doing salt and vinegar, Samboy, not sponsored, but I should be, by Samboy and sponsored by Jack Daniels too. But we've got the Samboys, so we just pop the bag and we've crushed them all up and we've got the um, salt, the uh, the squid all cut up in the, in the egg there and we've got, uh, got our oil ready to go. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to halve these up. And I'm just going to chuck them in each bag to make it easy, and I'm just going to give them a give them a shake up, and then we're just going to drop them straight in the oil, and we're just going to then we're going to get into them. So we've got no lemon either, so we're <laughs> going proper humpy style, but it should be good. See how we go. All right, we're back. So we had the sand boys. We chucked them in um, the cut up calamari in there, and this is what we've ended up with. It's not great, but considering with that we didn't bring anything with us, it uh, it looks all right. We'll just throw it on the pan and we'll see how we go. Well, I don't think we've had the greatest success. The coating didn't quite stick, but it's still like uh, it's cooked to perfection, as per usual. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Yeah, so the coating come up. Anyway, I'm gonna mix up some sauce. And we're gonna have ourselves some fresh calamari on Humpy Island. Um, last supper, so to speak. Anyway, yeah, cheers. Alright. The wifey's uh, hit it with some salt. Brookie's gonna have a little taste test here. Alright, out of ten. What do you reckon? Eight. An eight? Eight out of ten. I mean, the wifey's there whipping up a bit of sauce, a bit of seafood sauce, so we got mayonnaise and tomato sauce. It's gonna be good. No one else is interested. I reckon it's bloody, it's come up really good, eh? Alright, yeah, I'll that one. Alright, the taste test. Let's do it. Out of ten. I'm gonna give it a seven or eight. I think I, I agree with Brookie, so. Seven or eight. Now what we got, we got a um, little bit of, yeah, tomato sauce, mayonnaise, this epic seafood sauce. Let's do it. Can I? Mm. Can I, can I, can mm. I, can I try one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gonna have a go, Bracky? Braxy? Wow. Humpy Island magic. That's really good. Nice and sauce. 
I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. You're gonna give that a 10. Tell the camera. Tell the camera. What are you gonna give it? A 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. We we started with nothing and we've got we've got 10 out of 10 now, so. Alright, we're gonna get into it. <laughs> 